Six shocking scientific miracles in the Quran. All right, let's have a look at this one. Aside from our Holy Quran serving as a moral and spiritual guide with advice, commands, stories, and lessons, it also consists of historical and scientific discoveries. Such information was sent down from Allah and compiled into the Quran way before it was even discovered and confirmed to be a fact through scientific research. Such miracles of the Quran serve as evidence of God, His knowledge of all things, and proof of His divine word. We know that the Quran was brought down to us through the narration of the angel Gabriel to the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, peace by peace, until it was compiled after the Prophet's passing in the seventh century. Despite it appearing in a time when science had little value, one can find several scientific facts in the Quran. Number one, the Big Bang Theory in Quran. The theory of the origin of the universe is one of the most noteworthy scientific things mentioned in the Quran. Until 100 years ago, it was believed that the universe had no creator and has always existed. But Albert Einstein, during his field equation study, challenged this belief when he presented the theory that the universe is an expanding force that's yes, growing like a balloon. That's true. Later, a mathematician and Belgian priest proposed that this expansion must have begun from an initial and dense point. The holy book of the Quran, which came into existence centuries before the uncovered. But that is just logical, right? Like, okay, let's imagine the universe is like a disc, right? And you have a disc here, okay? Like my hand is a disc now. So if it's expanding, it's basically when it's small, it looks from the distance or like from far. It's like basically like a dot, right? Like a tiny ring. And it's like expanding over time, right? What does that mean? It means it's growing just like here in this hand, right? But it was at some point like this, right? And that actually proves that the universe has a start. And and this comes from like atheists, like not a Muslim is claiming that, but a atheist, like you have to, th like, this is like mind blowing, right? So like atheists are actually confirming something right here, that there is a creator. Covering of the Big Bang Theory details this idea. The text states that do not the Look. disbeliever see that the heavens and the earth were a closed up mass. Allahu Akbar. Then we open them out. Quran 2131. The word Ratkin used in the text hints at darkness and closed up mass. This is exactly how the. This is this is what I love so much about the Quran. And I understand, like, when I, like, uh, became a new Muslim, I had, like, no clue. Like, one thing I never understood is, like, why is the Quran uh, in Arabic, right? And I was like, why this language of all languages? And, uh, yeah, when I was, like, new, like, a friend of mine explained to me that the reason why the Quran was never translated is so there are no translation errors, right? Like, for example, if you look at, like, the Bible these days, it is a translation from the Latin version of the Bible. However, the Bible was originally uh, written in Hebrew, right? So Hebrew becomes Latin and then it becomes English or German or whatever language, right? So if you translate from one language to another and then again, like you're bound to make some mistakes or maybe some words have two meanings and you're not sure should you translate with this or that meaning. So if you do like a triple translation especially, you will have lots of mistakes. And that is why sometimes if you read uh, different versions of the Bible, like you will notice some, some verses are written a bit differently where like one could mean this, one could mean that. And this is why it's forbidden in Islam to... Uh, translate the Quran and that's why it's usually called interpretation of the Quran. Like if, if you if you buy a Quran at a bookstore it will say the the English interpretation of the Quran or something like that usually. Like sure yeah like just here yeah do not uh, do not the disbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were closed up mess. Yeah that's a translation but that's a one-time translation and if you actually master the Arabic language, you can read still these days the original Quran. But where's the Hebrew Bible? Like, why cannot buy this in the store? It's not even offered there. I don't know, maybe there are some unique shops that offer this, but even this one is just one that was written again. Like, the original one maybe doesn't even exist anymore. Allahu Alam. 
But it has definitely been, besides translation mistakes, altered. And that's also what we Muslims believe, right? That over time, the, the old scripture that uh, Isa, peace be upon him, uh, came uh, with to the people has been altered. But now we have a second sort of alteration and that is translation mistakes done in the bible right so that is like breathtaking when you think about it and that's why we in islam are forbidden to translate the quran and uh, ignore the old text we can't do that that's forbidden that's why even like if you like a revert and stuff and you're like praying right you pray in arabic even the surahs you recite they are in arabic why so you don't make translation mistakes at darkness and closed up mass. This is exactly how the universe must have looked before the Big Bang happened. Number two, the Big Crunch Theory in Quran. The Big Crunch Theory that predicts how the universe will end is yet another scientific thing the Quran details. The idea, based on Einstein's general relativity theory, talks about how the universe that began with the Big Bang will be eventually destroyed as a consequence. The Holy Quran mentions this incident in passage 21-105. Oh, that it, it reads, comes closer again? Remember the day when we shall roll up the heavens like the rolling up of written scrolls. The sun's growing, scribe. actually. Number three, embryology in Quran. Embryology is a branch of biology concerned with the study of fertilization and embryo development. The central religious text at one point talks about embryology and states a significant scientific fact in the Quran. It says, we created man from an extract of clay. Then we made him as a drop in a place of settlement, firmly fixed. Then we made the drop into an alaka, blood clot. Then we made the alaka into a mudga. Quran 23, 12 to 14. Here the yeah, it means uh, a leech, so it's like, uh, you know, it's like here so, so, also incredible. Like the Quran came down more than 1,400 years ago, right? And you could claim that they had some sort of more rough version of an autopsy back in the day, right? Like if, if atheists want now to argue, oh, but they had autopsy back then. Yeah, they could also just open up someone that recently passed away and look into that person. And then they can find out that there is uh, something in there, right? Or if they have like miscarriage or something. But listen, those are just guesses. And secondly, they didn't have a precise autopsy like we have these days. Maybe their autopsy was done with a thick blade or even an X or something. Like they, they were not so professional. They didn't have like zooming glasses and, and equipment to like zoom in. They couldn't scan the body and see where they must make the cut or something. Like they did not have such thing. So, so they could just roughly analyze our body, uh, first of all, in most cases. And second, that is a claim. And, and this is something I said, if, if a person is saying, oh, I'm a prophet, I will predict the future or this and that. And they're saying 10 things. And out of 10 things, only seven come true. That means this person is already not a prophet anymore because only a part of what this person prophesized was true, right? And the Quran, you find many things like that and not a single one was proven wrong by science today. And that is a miracle. That is a miracle in itself to make so many scientific claims and have not one be wrong as of today even. And, and, and so many have actually been proven to be correct and there are just like some few left that are with a question mark. And this question mark is only because science has not advanced enough to prove this yet, right? But most has actually been proven correct by science, and this is incredible. Here, the word alica can be defined as a leech, blood clot, or something suspended in the air. According to science, a fetus gets nutrients and oxygen from yeah, the Yeah, how did they know this with the nutrients? Number you need four, a microscope for oceanic this. Oceanic division mentions... The meeting of two oceans is called conflux. When two seas meet, their waters retain individual properties like temperature, color, and density. Yes. At a point of conflux, one can see two different bodies of water running oh, side by side. I've seen this in a documentary. Even though this discovery is recent, the Holy Quran informs the readers about this phenomena in its Allah 55, 19 to 20 passage. The scientific fact in Quran is stated as he released the two seas meeting side by side 
Between them is a barrier, so neither of them transgresses. Number 5. Pain Receptors in Quran For a long time, it was believed that the sense of feeling and pain is because of the brain. But a scientific study uh, recently discovered that our skin features pain receptors. Yeah, nerve cells and due stuff, to which right? we feel pain and agony. Like small hair, the they Holy look like small hair, I Quran think. Hinted at this occurrence a long time ago. It states, "We shall send those who reject our revelations to the hellfire. When their skins have been burned away, we shall replace them with new ones, so they may continue to feel the pain. So skin and pain this is passage connected. clearly suggests that we feel pain because of our skin. Number six, internal waves in the ocean. Oceanographers, while studying water bodies, discover that the belief that waves only occur in the ocean surface is wrong. In reality, the waves are present internally, underneath the surface of the water and are created that when the lower part of the oceanic body faces true. an obstacle. This barrier creates a disturbance in the water body and leads to oscillation. Isn't that, I, I heard about this um, from a documentary with like diving, right? Or if you have like a U-boat or something, that because of this, you have to be sometimes a bit careful to not go down also too fast. Like, okay, okay there's like water pressure, right? But there could be some sort of up wave or what you call this. So where if you are going down with a U-boat or while diving, and if you go too fast, like there's some sort of kind of like a wave or something that can push you back up a bit and if it's too strong it can cause you some extra pressure in addition to the pressure that's increasing when you go down the water right or something like that that's actually super fascinating like i actually love watching like documentaries about like nature and stuff and about such things i've even been as a kid very fascinated with such things like it's just mind-blowing like how allah created this planet right like how ants uh can make roads based on smell and know they must go this direction because of their pheromones and stuff, right? It's just like mind blowing. Same with like water and sea life. It's just so fascinating. Underneath the surface of the water and are created when the lower part of the oceanic body faces an obstacle. Yeah. This barrier creates a disturbance in the water body. Or whale or big fish or something can cause this too, right? The central religious text of Islam, which details several secrets and facts about the depths of the oceans, also talks about this phenomenon. And how it's dark at the bottom, One yeah? One of the nine scientific facts in the Quran talks about the internal waves of the ocean and says that it is covered by waves, above which are waves, wow. above which are clouds. How could Prophet Muhammad have possibly known all this 1400 years ago? When yeah. scientists have they didn't have those machines back then. This using advanced equipment exactly. and powerful microscopes, which did not exist at that when time. When was the microscope invented? The only answer is that the Quran is the word of God Almighty. Was it 300 years ago? 400 years ago? I'm not sure. Have you ever wished that there was a Muslim version of YouTube or Netflix? Well, we have created one. Oh, it's already the over, Islam unfortunately. Is 100% <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I wanted to see more. That's I'm sad that we are now, like this minute. This video says it's like eight minutes long, and I'm sad that we are at six minutes twenty nine, and it's already over. I wanted to see more. Uh, Allahu Akbar, yo! But those those records are very fascinating. And it's like crazy because like even the microscope. Where the heck was the microscope first invented? You know what? Uh, I will actually Google this now. When was the microscope invented? It was in year uh, 1590. Wait a second. Uh, are you serious? That's not even 500 years ago. That's like 400 plus years ago. And, uh, but I was wrong. I said like what 300 years ago, right? So I'm sorry. I have to correct myself. It was not like 300 years ago or something. It was like almost 500 years ago like 400 plus years ago but yo so if the first microscope was invented in year 1590 that means certain miracles they like, come on even like from for those atheists like explain me how the heck did the did the quran like know this when they didn't have the the the, the equipment to prove this right like, this is a miracle. Same with, like, the embryo. How did they know that the embryo gets nutrition? 
like sure there can be like a, 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 a miscarriage some sort of like something comes out right like someone has like an accident and they see oh there was a blood clot coming out or something right okay i understand this from a medical perspective like you see there's something or if there was like some sort of autopsy or something right but that this thing gets nutrition as well like you need a microscope to to analyze that even and stuff right or same with like like the oceans like you couldn't go very deep back in the day because you didn't have u-boats right so how do you know this with the way it's like like it takes some 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 depth to actually no, to to like notice this and you can't hold your breath for for so long like how long can like like people hold their breath maybe like two minutes at, at best maybe not even two minutes because you're also getting exhausted from like the, the movement right when you're diving you're like swimming right uh, the pressure is changing, so like one plus minute perhaps at best. So you can't go deep in the ocean. Like there's even like a, a miracle, and it wasn't mentioned there. But I think I read, but uh, Allah knows best, that there's also a part where it says that it gets uh, darker the deeper you go in the ocean or something, right? And that's also something that was proven true, because now with U-boats we can go to the deep dark. There's like actually one level where there are like some very strange, even glowing sea creatures are living, and this is like the deep dark of the sea. And this was just proven recently with modern U-boats that can go very deep, right? And, and I think there's something like that too in the Quran, so it's like, it's like mind-blowing, like Allahu Akbar. But yeah, guys, this is really interesting to check out. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.